Daily Minutes of Sunday, October 11, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. We have several items of international news for you. And for the first time since long, at the end of the show, we have some MFSK 31 centered around 1000 Hz. MFSK 31 around 1000 Hz. We might do some more data in the next couple of days at the end of our Dutch language bulletins. From the headquarters of the American Radio Relay League in Newington, Connecticut, this is ARRL Audio News. In this week's satellite update, in what might have been record speed, AMSAT's new Fox 1A satellite received its Oscar designation on the day of its launch, and its FM transponder was activated temporarily on October 9th. AMSAT Oscar number administrator Bill Tynan, W3XO, announced that Fox 1A is now AO85. The satellite launched on October 8th at 12.49 UTC. This is amateur radio satellite Fox 1. I have been informed of the successful launch today, October 8, 2015, of the AMSAT North America-built Fox 1A CubeSat. I am also informed that the satellite has been heard by several amateurs in various countries, Tynan said in a news release. This successful launch comes after years of diligent and dedicated work on the part of AMSAT North America volunteers, including Tony Montero, AA2TX, who became a silent key in March 2014. It was Tony who spearheaded and guided the work on all AMSAT North America CubeSats until his untimely passing. Thus, it is only fitting that this spacecraft be dedicated to his memory. As Tynan noted, Jerry Buxton, N0JY, took over Montero's post of AMSAT North America Vice President for Engineering and successfully completed the project through its preparation for launch. All of those who had a part in designing, constructing, and testing FOX 1A and its various subsystems are to be congratulated for jobs well done, Tynan said. Telemetry and a distinctive voice ID from the new CubeSat have been heard around the world, and satellite aficionados in the U.S., such as Clayton Coleman, W5PFG, wasted no time in making QSOs during a transponder testing phase in the early morning hours of October 9th. Fox 1A telemetry reports, raw and decoded, are now available on the AMSAT website. The Fox Telem software is available via the AMSAT website as well. This was a great day for AMSAT and for satellite operators around the world, Patrick Stoddard, WD9EWK, posted to the AMSAT reflector. Almost six years to the day the AMSAT Fox project was unveiled at the 2009 AMSAT Space Symposium in Baltimore, we now have the first of a series of Fox 1 satellites in orbit. Congratulations to all who have had a hand in building and launching Fox 1A today, and thanks to everyone who has supported the Fox project over the past six years. AMSAT has produced a free commemorative issue of the AMSAT Journal that highlights the FOX 1A launch success, which is available at amsat.org. Hello, this is Bob McCready, G0FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Ofcom has agreed that full license holders, including those with club or reciprocal licenses, may continue to have temporary access to 146 to 147 megahertz for a further 12 months when the existing NOVs expire on the 31st of October. A new NOV must be applied for via the RSGB website. One change on the new NOV is that the exclusion of certain NGR squares is no no longer an explicit restriction. Details on the latest 2015-2016 version can be found on the RSGB website. 